What's going on, blessed and beautiful people? Welcome to another edition of the Florida Woodsman. With me, your boy Mike French, and today we're going to be talking about bait and hogs in and sour corn and how I make mine basic, simple. Um, a lot of guys like to add Mountain Dew and sweets and Gatorade, Kool-Aid, I've heard strawberry, cherry, I've heard pancake syrup, I've heard donuts. Uh, me, personally, I've had my best luck with just good old corn, some water, and what I do is I pour a little beer in there to get the uh, to get the fermentation going a little bit quicker. You, you, if you add a little bit of yeast, which you can do, add yeast to your corn if you want it to start fermenting a little quicker. But what I do is I just pour one beer, one of those little teeny guys, and I'll pour one of those in a five gallon bucket. Now you can make corn on a large scale and do it in a big garbage can and all that good stuff. I'm not using it as much as I used to, so I'm just gonna make a five gallon bucket of it this time and uh, show you all how I do it and like to hear it, here you go. So as you can see here, I've got my corn. I've got a little bit of leftover corn from when I went and filled the feeders. It's probably half a bag and then maybe a quarter of a bag there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill the corn to about, I'd say three quarters of the bucket about right there and then fill the rest fill the water up to almost the top and what would happen is after I do that about the third or fourth day that corn will just start soaking up that that water in that beer and you probably want to you can get away with fermenting it a week and using it and getting the hogs to come in but what I've I I've, I've found out is about that second week is about when it's like perfect and it's not too far gone but it's not you know what I mean not green like it was and it's got a little bit of stank to it and it will travel and what you can do is what I like to do is I like to take a pair of post hole diggers dig it down pour that corn into about you know the three foot post hole and then pour some dirt on top and put a little corn on top with some more dirt and then put a little corn over the top after I'm done and those guys when they're done they'll root all the way down to that corn and they won't get to it in one night it'll take them three nights or something like that the only thing is if you're hog controlling on a property you know they will make a crater in the ground so if you're out in the woods and it don't matter you can go ahead and do that but I wouldn't recommend doing it in somebody's yard so we're gonna go ahead and mix that corn up show you how I do it and get her done all right y'all it's very simple you get a five gallon bucket with a lid on it you get your corn As you can see, I'm about, I'm more than half. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take that beer, and just crack that thing, throw it in there. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna just hurry up the fermentation process. So it'll get nice and stinky and hogs will come right in. Now guys, I do this on private land. I have permission. You know, don't try to do this on public land. It's totally illegal. So I'm just going to say that right now. I don't want to get any hate emails or comments or anything about baiting on public land because I do not do that. I give fair chase where it calls for. And if I can bait and follow the rules, then that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes, I mean, I bait hogs in and sometimes they're too smart. They'll come back the next night and go for the bait. So, I mean, hogs are not stupid. They use their nose. They can't rely too much on their eyes and their ears. Although they can see not too well and they can hear pretty well, but that nose, you can't trick that thing. You know what I mean? If you're not hunting the wind when you're hunting hogs, you ain't gonna kill no hogs. So we got the beer in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on. And that's all we do. We're gonna fill it up till we get about this far from the top of the lid. And all that corn will just soak up all that goodness. And it's a killer bait. And I mean, I have tried all that other stuff like other people have. I mean, but I find just straight up water, corn, and beer. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, hogs like sweet. They like sweet stuff, you know what I mean? But with this corn that I make, I mean, they really, I mean, it really brings them in. So, y'all can, y'all check my videos out. Every, pretty much every one of them hogs I kill most of the time is with this sour corn. So now what we'll do is we'll, Go ahead and put the uh, the lid back on. Make sure you have the, if it's a paint bucket, you have the uh, the cap in there. 
and you can't really have like a totally airtight sealed container because some of that it's gonna swell up you know whatever you put it in I like using five gallon buckets when it swells up and it needs to relieve the pressure it'll just kind of gently loose the, the lid and it'll let the, the gas out that it needs to so basically I'm gonna let this thing sit for two weeks week it'll be good in a week but I'm gonna let it sit for two weeks and it's probably good for two three shots of hunting you know you pour some out I never pour the whole bucket out but you can do like I said earlier post hole dig that post hole down about three feet post hole digger pour some of this corn down in there put a little bit more dirt more corn make it like you a lasagna of corn and I tell you what and hogs won't get your bait in one night I can guarantee that so y'all be blessed I appreciate y'all watching stay tuned like comment share with your friends don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and uh, we love y'all appreciate it and uh, we out peace